feelings about President Trump's vow to withdraw from the Paris Agreement has been met with predictable scorn here in Bonn. But on Thursday, the president's representative said the window may still be open for U.S. engagement down the line. President Trump has made clear the U.S. position with respect to the Paris Agreement. Although he indicated that the United States intends to withdraw at the earliest opportunity, we remain open to the possibility of rejoining at a later date under terms more favorable to the American people. The U.S. pullout is wholly opposed by a burgeoning group of American mayors and state governors who came to Bonn to say we're still in the Paris Agreement. Together, they represent $6.2 trillion of the U.S. economy. Climate change, we've seen the impacts this year in the United States. We have Category 5 hurricanes hitting the, the shores. In California, we have truly horrific fires. These are symptoms of climate change. There's no avoiding them, that's the science. And so eventually the United States, hopefully sooner rather than later, is gonna be back in this process. It's clear the challenges are immense for all nations of the world, but this go it alone US effort was invigorated on Thursday by the UK and Canada launching a global alliance to phase out coal. Some see it as a rebuke to Donald Trump. And what the, his two closest allies, uh, UK and Canada, are doing is basically telling him that we are past coal. Coal is actually a very dirty, unnecessary polluting energy. And it's something that belongs to the more ignorant era. As a symbol to the Fijian presidency, this traditional double-hulled canoe has pride of place over the talks, the point being that when it comes to climate change, we're all in the same boat. But at the same time, there's a gathering force in the fight against global warming, and that's a younger generation. This, I mean, this is our fourth industrial revolution. This is the most exciting to, time to be alive. But for me, this is like, you know, it's going to go down in history books as the time when we shifted away from fossil fuels onto more sustainable solutions. And I want to be a part of that. Fijians and other island nations will celebrate an approach like that. Making opportunity of the crisis that is climate change may not suit the White House, but around the world, it seems, it is a concept that's gaining momentum. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Bonn, Germany.